The art of movie making is in the spotlight today with the announcement of this year's Oscar nominees. But what do you think makes a good movie? Is it all about star power, special effects? Well, you might be right, but our next guest thinks he has a foolproof way of predicting a hit. Durson Delenn is a professor of management science and information systems at Oklahoma State University, and he joins me now from Tulsa at Oklahoma. So, Durson, what is your method of predicting hit movies? Well, um, I can tell you what we have done. We have collected information about a large uh, number of movies from the past five years, and we use that to develop a prediction model using what's called a neural network. And then we try to predict the, mo uh, the financial success of the movies based on the characteristics that we can quantify as we define a motion picture and movie. So what factors go into your model, Derson? Um, it ranges from uh, star power to uh, competition. Um, it also includes whether or not the movie is a sequel. We're including the, the rating of the movie, um, as it's G, PG, PG-13, rated R or not rated. Uh, we're including the comp competition, whether or not it's a high competition season, a medium or low competition. We're including star value on the actors, actress, the cast, as well as the, the producers. We're including 10 different genres. And, uh, um, for instance, a movie could be an action and a comedy at the same time. Our model takes that, um, uh, that structure of, of genre into account. Uh, it also includes technical effects, the sequel, and the number of screens that is projected to be released at the time of release. Okay, well it sounds like there's a lot going on then, Durson. So you put all these factors into a computer model, do you, as well as how well these films actually did. And then what happened? Um, what we did is that we collected the data, we pushed this data with all of those parameters into a artificial neural network. Artificial neural network is a math mathematical model that people tend to use in the recent years for this kind of classification and prediction models. It mimics the uh, behavior of the human brain uh, to a certain extent, as we can explain how human brain functions. So this mathematical model creates a relationship between these parameters of the movie and the financial success of that movie. And then um, once the model is built, then we can push in these parameters of a movie that you have in mind, and it will predict how good that movie is gonna be it, by putting it into 109 success categories, ranging from all the way up to Blockbuster, which is 200 million and above, uh, all the way down to a flop, which is a million dollar or less. And just how accurate is your model then, Derson? Our model is, is pinpoint accurate 37% of the time. So it will put the movie where it belongs exactly in one of those nine buckets 37% of the time. And it will put it on one of the adjacent boxes um, in 75% of the time. And these results, these prediction results, are based on our experimentation that we conducted in 2003. Since then, we are improving our models and we're actually getting to the level of 40% better uh, or better on the, the pinpoint accuracy and 80% or better on the one category uh, range uh, prediction. Well, it sounds like it's a pretty good model, Dustin, but it's not quite foolproof, is it? What movies did it get wrong? It is not foolproof at all. Uh, the movies that we couldn't get um, accurately predicted includes, for instance, Waterworld. Like the rest of the world, our model thinks that Waterworld was going to be a blockbuster and it didn't turn out to be one. So, Dustin, you've created this model based on the, the performances of movies that have already been made, but you're hoping it's going to be able to predict the success of movies that haven't actually been made yet and will be used by the industry, I guess, to kind of create movies they know are going to be a sure success. Does that not lead to movies becoming a lot more formulaic? Uh, to a certain extent, I would agree with you, but there will always be a part of the movie, the artistic side of the movie, that will never, ever be able to quantify and put into a model. There will be movies um, artistically outstanding that, that our model is not going to be able to predict. But what we're trying to do is to help decision makers to optimize the parameters to the extent that possible to 
to a certain extent minimize the chances of losing money on them before they make the investment. It's, it's more of a decision support tool than anything else. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you today, Dirson. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Dirson Delen is a professor of management science and information systems at Oklahoma State University, and he joined me today from Tulsa, Oklahoma.